<laughs> no enthusiasm. Is everybody having a good time? Is everybody having a good time? Yeah. Better, better, better. So, uh, I'm Tom Cox, and uh, this is Horny Mike Henry. How'd you get the last name Cox? You know, it was my mother, my fathers, mm -hmm. and their mothers and fathers before them, you know? So, there you go. I, I would have used the hell out of that name. <laughs> my name is Horny Cox. <laughs> so, um, in terms of, you know, everybody who's, you know, indie cars these days, you know, the automotive scene is still exploding for, you know, despite everybody talking about, you know, oh, nobody's getting into cars, nobody loves cars anymore, you know, kids don't care, and all that sort of stuff. You know, it's massive. It's huge. And I think a lot of people are involved in it, and I think it's, it's, it's really big. And, you know, you guys have been on uh, with Counting Cars now, what, 10, 10 years? 10 years. 10 years ago, 10 years. Run. Not gonna lie, we, we might be done right now as far as the history channel and, and counting cars goes, but that doesn't mean we're done. We're just done with the history channel wasting our time. There you go. So, you know, I've, I've done a little, you know, a little background work, you know, and I, I apologize. I, I know, it was a hard read, I'm telling you. So, you know, you grew up in Michigan. I did. I grew up very poor in Michigan. And lived, lived, in, lived, lived with grandma, graduated high school, I lived in a van. And I can lie, I like telling people, I'm proud of it. I lived in a van for six months in high school. Nobody could make fun of me, nobody could talk trash to me, because the second they started talking trash to me, I'd be like, you better remember, I ain't got no bathroom in that thing and I can find your house. I'll just start shitting on your front lawn. <laughs> so so you, you, you got into, uh, automotive service or motorcycles? You, you know, here, here's how it went for me. I, <clears throat> I went in airbrush t-shirts for uh, four or five years in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Did that for a couple years, but then you can only airbrush so many t-shirts that say, you know, like you got two hearts and says Jack and Sally always in forever Myrtle Beach before you absolutely want to just kill yourself. <laughs> like I just got so tired of doing silly, dumb t-shirts. And, you know, I've I seen a lot of customized, you know, a lot of guys out there doing some serious custom work. And I was like, you know what, I, I, need, to, I need to move over to the automotive end. So I went and got a job at a body shop, eight bucks an hour, just so that I could learn what they knew. And the fun part is, is that guy, uh, Dearborn Heights Auto Clinic in Michigan. He hired me. I had no experience. He's like, can you paint bikes? Like, of course I can paint bikes. Never painted a bike in my life. But I had three weeks that I was already around there, for, like I'd hung out for a little while. I learned a lot off of the painter. I'm, I, I'm a sponge. If I can watch you, I'll know what you're doing. So I learned what he was doing. The first bike came out absolutely amazingly glass smooth. The next five, nope. <laughs> Runs. <laughs> One, I ran all the way down to the ground. <laughs> well, you know, I learned that that's too much clear. <laughs> too much. <laughs> But anyways, I, I got a job so that I could learn what I needed to know as far as airbrushing goes. And the next thing you know, we were going to Autoramas, doing, doing you know, crazy, crazy helmets and bikes. This could, couldn't have been a better choice, you know? Because I mean, honestly, there, there's more, there's more, you, you just, you feel better when you finish a, a hood mural than if you do a t-shirt. <laughs> you think? I don't Are care. You sure? Yeah, you can work on that stupid t-shirt for eight hours. It never feels good when you're done because it's just a stinking t-shirt. But you finish a beautiful hood mural, put some clear coat on it, wet sand it to absolute glass. Mm. That makes that makes an impression. That makes your point. So that that was where art were. Like, I, I felt like everybody felt like airbrushing was trash on t-shirts, but they didn't realize what kind of artwork it was on a vehicle. And I don't think they still do. You know, they still think of artwork as something that's on your wall. Listen, man, if I gotta sit there and paint your hood for the next 40 hours, that is artwork. That is amazing, and you're lucky it's on your hood. That's how I feel about it. That's all. It's just a bit more gratifying than something that goes in the washing machine. Way more gratifying. And the first time it runs out of the washing machine, it fades and looks like crap. There you go. Not as satisfying. 